Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No! Kelly, get over here. You're a part of this. Oh no, you're a part of this too. You get over here. Ooh. We need to have an emergency meeting, okay? Sit here. Uh, my one and only sister is having a baby. That's you. And I've never once had a tea party. That's yours. But we only have a little bit of time to prepare before the baby comes, okay? Oh, we're getting closer and closer. This is my first and only blood relative niece, okay? So I have to be prepared to put on the best tea party possible. This is for you. Oh, I'm tired. Princess is first. I'm nervous, okay? I got this. Kelly, you, I put a little something extra in yours. It's water. It's just extra water. You get the most water. Cheers. Oh, you spilt it all over my knees. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to. I know it was both of our faults, but I'm not gonna slap myself. That's silly. Oh. You know what? I'm so sorry. I wrote you an apology note. Don't read it now. Read it later. Okay, a little bit of a disaster, but I think we got it. What if it floods? I didn't leave you. Okay, you're here. Okay, Mrs. Dur Ungrateful. <laughs> no, shut up. I'm sorry. Okay, I just, I'm. I want this to be good. I want to be prepared for whatever. Are you thirsty? I got gotcha. you. It's all yours. I'm glad you're having a good time. Come here. Ruin this up for me. I'm not gonna be cut. That was you. I did not toot. I'm not gonna be considered the worst uncle in the world because of you. I should have left you down there. I think if a flood happens, we're all prepared. Yes? In that case, I think we're prepared for everything. <gasps> what if there's a tornado? Where'd Kelly go? Sorry! You thirsty? Take refuge in my belly! Thank goodness that storm is over. Well, the power went out, so all the fans turned off, but I think we did good, honestly. Oh, uh, when did you pass out? I didn't even, I didn't even notice that you did. When, did you guys notice? Well, you two were taking refuge in my belly. <clears throat> I'm glad you made it, pound it. I feel good. I think we would survive a flood and a tornado. Yeah. What about rats? <laughs> what if there's an infestation of rats? Well, I don't think we gotta worry about rats. Okay, we're gonna have a nice, pleasant tea party. <laughs> I think I speak for all inanimate objects here that uh, none of us were expecting an electrical fire. Okay, is that correct? Is that as good, assume? Is that good to it? Oh, you didn't even drink your tea. I am, please, drink this. Hey! That was yours, and now you don't have tea. Oh, sweetheart, you are fine. I didn't leave you. I left you. Past tense. My chair's broken. Can I borrow your chair? Ah! I got you something. I don't know about y'all because y'all don't speak words, but I think it's safe to say that we would survive the flood, a tornado, an electrical rat situation, and I think that's it. I think we covered it all. <laughs> what if the apocalypse happens? Apocalypse. Okay, we don't have power, we don't have water, and we definitely don't have food, okay? But I think if we stick together as a team, I not only think that we could survive, <coughs> but also thrive in these conditions. What? Kelly, I'm not eating anything. If we had food, I would share it. I'm not a monster. <laughs> oh, the apocalypse is over already? I think we did an amazing job. Boy, I am thirsty. <laughs> I hope y'all don't mind that I have a little bit of tea while we recover from this apocalyptic scenario we just encountered. Mm. What in the a Western movie is that? Sweetheart, what'd you put in, what'd you put in Uncle Beebs' teapot? No, no, sweetheart, Uncle Beebs loves the tea you made. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious. You're so right, baby who doesn't speak words yet. I think we should prepare because you never know what tiny little princesses will put in your teapot. You should drink some of it. What is this? What is this? I 
didn't even know you were saving up for anything. You never know what a kid's gonna put in your teapot, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and give each one a taste, see if we can guess it. And hopefully that makes Sweet Sweet Blood Princess a, a happy princess blood human. <laughs> Drink number one. No, I'm not, I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me try drink number two. Mm -hmm. I'm just tasting this. It's oh, um, you. Oh, good choices. I'm pretty close to guessing. I think this one is, but that could also be. Let's try this one. <laughs> That's just as good. Kelly, you want to try the next three? What's oh. okay? It's coming up. You haven't even tried one yet. Please drink. The baby's drink. No, sweetheart, I, uh, Uncle Beads is just having a hard time. Guessing is the problem. I'm on this one, right? Oh, I got that one down. These are, they're, uh, 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 close. Last one, I got, hey, it's easy. This one's a piece of cake. Is it all Pepsi? Nailed it. Please try the beverage. Uh, I got Pepsi in my eyes. Oh, you did a great job, sweetheart. Uncle Beebs loves it. Uh, Aunt Kelly passes out all the time. That's who she is as a portrait. Huh? No, I'm having a great time. I just want this to be good. My sister's been trying for ever and it's finally happening. I want to be good at this. I want her to be proud of me. I want my blood princess to be <laughs> proud of her Uncle Beebs. And so far, I think I'm doing a great job. I think everyone's honestly pulling their weight. Every, everyone. No, no, I ingested it earlier. You, uh, please drink the pee pee, please. You're ruining this for me. Drink it. What do you mean, what if there's an earthquake? <sighs> Who invited Lamp? Why am I carrying everyone's cup? Earthquake simulation. That was the fastest earthquake I've ever seen. Hold your own cup, Ryan. Well, that was a lot of... We did it. <laughs> don't ever invite Lamp to anything ever again. You don't come over as often either. <laughs> I think we're prepared if it floods, if there's a tornado, if there's an electrical rat, if the apocalypse happens, or if there's an earthquake and other things we did today. I think this is gonna go good. If I'm being honest, I think I'm... Hello. I'm, <laughs> I'm not walking in for dramatic effect. I had to go. I was a bit in the sink. I'm sick. Now what you're thinking, Brandon, this is a weird behind the scenes video. This looks like a main channel video. It was supposed to be. I filmed that video. Oh, this is gonna be tough to get through. I'm gonna go back to the sink real quick. Shoot. I'm gonna go cry first and then I'll come back. I filmed that video a couple months ago for the purpose of my sister, my only sister, only sibling, having her first child after 10 years or so of trying to have a baby and just not being able to. She finally does, she gets pregnant, it's a big deal. And this idea comes to me that I'm gonna do this aggressive tea party. And the idea was the ending of the video ends off by me saying I'm, and then it's supposed to cut to me in the dress, in the hospital saying ready. And then I hold her for the first time, Lily, my only blood niece. Hold on, give me like 10 minutes, okay? Someone hasn't processed these emotions yet and decided to process them on camera? <laughs> Stupid. So Lily was born September 7th, I believe. I might be wrong. It was late at night, so I don't remember which day it was. But she was born and there was a couple complications. Uh, they weren't able to leave the hospital. They're currently still in the hospital. They didn't really know what was happening. So they ran a couple tests. They thought it was certain things. Um, she had to be put on a a, either a ventilator or just air tubes to help her breathe. She she wasn't able to eat on her own. They found out that her heart only has one valve, which I guess I, I could be butchering this. Just shut up, okay? I'm processing. Her heart only has one valve, which I believe there's two, which means her body isn't prioritizing things like digestion and breaking down food. It's It's prioritizing pumping blood through the heart out of just one valve. They decided on surgery, open heart surgery, to put another valve in there made of pig stem cells, I guess, I don't know. This is what I heard and I'm also guessing some. So just a couple days ago, she had open heart surgery, which was tough. 
Why do you do these things? I'm sniffling because I'm sick and I have red eyes because I'm crying. <laughs> Shut up. The plan was I was gonna go. We were gonna see her in the hospital or if she had come early, they'd be home already. We get to see her, we get to see the family. But now she's at a point to where she can't really be around people, especially <laughs> people who can't stop coughing and spitting in sinks. So we decided about two weeks ago to cancel the trip because we knew she was having complications and we didn't want to risk it. I was sick then. I didn't want to risk it, her getting sick by me. I didn't want to get my sister sick so she couldn't see the baby. We decided not to go. Um, so I couldn't film the last piece of this video. Let me use my spirit Halloween receipt as a tissue. So the whole idea of the video was just, I have to prepare, what if this happens? And this is when the tears start out here by myself. <laughs> but this is one of those things that I didn't, no one expected and I couldn't prepare for. And it's not something I'm gonna make comedy out of. So that's why it's not a main channel video. And also this video is sponsored by betterhelp.com. You never really know when you're gonna need help. Talk to someone. And usually the person that I talk to if I need help, is always to go to my mother or my sister. I just talk to them. But when the people you wanna talk to are the people going through something, who do you talk to? I've been in a lot of situations in my life where therapy would have helped, but I think there's this weird idea about going to therapy, but I think that's changing and I think that's good. Living in my car when I was homeless and lonely, that would have been a good time. Now is a good time. Not because I'm crying, it's just because I haven't processed these emotions. But it helps to have someone there to help you process these emotions. The people who just help me process those emotions happen to be going through something more than, m bigger than my emotions. But just like everyone, you probably have things that are interfering with your happiness or interfering with you achieving your goals. And I get that. And regardless of if you have a clinical mental health issue like depression or anxiety, or if you're just a human being having a hard time in life, therapy can help you approach life or even see your situation in a different way. And that's why I'm excited to talk to you about BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to help make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And that's really important because finding a therapist or someone that you can trust and you connect with is, is difficult on its own, let alone when you're limited to what's around you in your area, in your town, in your city, and driving distance. BetterHelp is a platform that helps finding therapists a lot easier because it's online. It's remote and by filling out a couple questions, you can get linked up with a therapist that you match with. And it's just as easy to change that therapist if you don't feel like you connect, which, huge. <laughs> it's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There's a link in my description, or you can go to betterhelp.com forward slash I'm Brandon Ferris BTS. Clicking the link below does help me. It does help the channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. So you can connect with the therapist to see if it helps you. It's easy to switch therapists. If you don't feel like you connect or you feel like you can open up to a certain person, it's easy and at no cost, you can switch your therapist. So I'm not sure when I will actually get to meet Lily, but when I do, I know I will be better than I am right now, emotionally. So if you're struggling, please consider BetterHelp. Click the link in my description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash I'm Brandon Ferris BTS. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this channel. And thank you for watching and listening to me cry on camera. <laughs> Love you. This is what you signed up for, people. Pit sweats and tears, baby. Yeah, my tears just run down into my armpits so you don't see that I'm crying. It's something I should talk about to a therapist. I love you, best day ever, purple hearts and whatnot.